Why is everything so hard today? Welcome back to another episode of Drunk Cooking with Leora, the show where I take your recipes and I get drunk with them. I really need a new opening line. You want to sit here? <coughs> Logan, sit. sit. This week, this week's just I've been drinking. Ollie has asked me to do a tribute to Keith Floyd. He was the first TV chef, apparently. I don't know if that's true. Fact check? It's not true. Watch some Keith Floyd for a bit. A bit of simple peasant cooking and some red meat. And for those of you who are vegetarians, switch off because this program is really going to upset you. Richard, We're watching Keith Floyd. We're going to make his beef bourguignon. Minus the beef. Carnivores, look away now. This is a vegan bourguignon. It's girthy. So let's just go through the ingredients, Keith style. Some lovely peeled and sliced shallots. Orange peel, some smoked garlic, some onion with cloves in it to make a bomb. I think he said it was a bomb, like a sea bomb. A mine. Parsley, rosemary and bay leaf. Here we have some chopped tomatoes. Sexy mushroom. Some carrots. You can optionally add the vegan bacon smoked tofu. It's tofu! Anyway, it's supposed to replace bacon big chunky pieces of aubergine because he had these like big beef shins i'm not even gonna cut these small this is just gonna be a thing like that does that look like a beef shin that's enormous mmm look at this aubergine it's so meaty and red yeah that looks like beef shin it's bleeding i feel like this show just gives me the permission to do whatever the fuck i want it does here's some bacon mmm are you looking at my bacon According to Keith Floyd, what we want to be doing now is frying the bacon. Welcome back, now we have a stove. We're going to do some shots of pork. This is a fancy pot I bought on sale. Big pot of short, pot of short. <laughs> I've drank enough, now we can cook. You can fry it in any oil, but because I'm an asshole, we're going to fry it in avocado. I'm going to use olive oil, a medium heat. Fry your bacon. I don't know how long to fry my bacon for because it's not actually going to release any juices. One for me and one for my homies. Yeah. I'll tell you an anecdote. Ugh. Did you know that the number one selling of album in America was the Eagles' Greatest Hits album and it doesn't have Hotel California on it? What? I'm a fat check that. Why? pour our bacon into the um, pot. In the bacon juices, we're gonna add more oil because that didn't produce any juices at all. And we're gonna fry up our beef shin, aubergine. That's gonna take some time, so we're just gonna drink some more. You don't smell like beef. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't look like beef. <laughs> There you go, now it's beefy. Come on, I'm pretty sure. Oh shit. Leave it to the professionals. I forgot to mention that you're gonna need a bottle of wine. I mean, that was obvious. Half of it goes in you, and half of it goes in your food. More of it goes in you than in your food. Fancy bottles are for when you're sober. There's flying fish on the label. A little slow. Add this to the bacon. Uh, tofu. A little landmine. My pot isn't big enough for the ingredients. No, they go in like this. Half a bottle of wine. I think it needs a bit of salt and pepper. Cook this down for a little bit and then we're going to add some stock. So we're going to put a lid on this and let it cook. Can I help you? Am I supposed to do something now? Put it on the stove. We'll figure out what to do next when it's cooked. Do another shot of port. Oh, what? We're helping. Do another shot of port. A Wayne's World with like a, like a billion. <gasps> Can we do a Wayne's World episode? Wayne's World. <gasps> if you would like a Wayne's World episode, please comment below saying you want to see a Wayne's World. Tongue put in a jar and it grew and grew and pulsated and gave birth to baby tongues. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> diddly -dee, diddly -dee. Now that we're done with our Wayne's World interlude, this needs to go into the oven for some time until it reduces. 
I'll tell you how long that needed when I know. I'm gonna serve it with mash. This is boring to watch me make. Got two Lucas peeling potatoes. We're almost done. Almost there, guys. Maybe drink less than I do. That smells amazing. <laughs> the feedback is impeccable. So we're gonna add a bit of vegetarian stock, and then you're gonna put that back in the oven. If you think I'm faking this shit, that's your fucking problem, not mine. So we're gonna mash that shit. They words. We're not even words. Interpret a Catholic rabbit. We're gonna. I don't know how well you're gonna interpret. We'll find out. The lady says we're going to mash the potato. That did sound like a lot more like words than what I said. So it's a vegan mashed potato. I and assume that the potato was vegan at this point. <laughs> so instead of butter and milk, we're, we're gonna put wine in it. <laughs> I can't find shake your tail feather by Rachel. You can and you will. <laughs> this mash mother. Play, I'm a winner. I can't find I'm a winner in your music library. I hate you. I literally hate you. I don't know how to deal with how much I hate you, but you're in my house and you live here now. Play, I'm a winner, baby. I can't find I'm a little baby by Charlie <laughs> 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 A little baby. Am I done? I think I'd be more drunk than Keith ever was in his show. He would be so proud. Here is some food that Keith didn't make. I've got some of the uh, bacon lardons. Have you got a bacon lardon? <laughs> Taste uh -oh. that shit! That is a, a buttery, beautiful, yummy time. I've surprised even myself. Who needs beef? Thank you for watching Drunk Cooking with Leora. Thank you for cooking, Drunk Leora. Subscribe. And comment down below with what you'd like me to make next week. And don't forget, you need to ask me what to drink with, while I cook, because that's how this shit works. If you haven't figured that out yet, then you probably shouldn't be watching. Thank you for watching. I love you.